The New York Times reported today forensic tests conducted on the gun, uniform, and vehicle of the police officer who shot and killed unarmed 18-year-old Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri, had the teen's blood on them. The report also says Officer Darren Wilson, quote, feared for his life. Vladimir Dutier has the details. The Times report says Darren Wilson told authorities he was trying to get out of his car when Michael Brown shoved him back in, pinning him. There was a violent struggle. Wilson says Brown punched and scratched him repeatedly, leaving swelling on his face and cuts on his neck. He also told investigators Brown tried to grab his gun. As they scuffled, the gun fired twice. One shot hit Brown in the arm. The second missed. Dorian Johnson was with Brown when the shooting happened and described Officer Wilson's actions differently back in August. He just reached his arm out the window and grabbed my friend around his neck and was trying to, as he was trying to choke my friend. The Times report does not explain why Wilson fired multiple shots at Brown even after they got out of the car. He shot again and once my friend felt that shot, he turned around and he put his hands in the air and he started to get down. But the officer still approached with his weapon drawn, and he fired several more shots. I'm attorney Benjamin Crump. Benjamin have, Crump is the attorney for Michael Brown's parents. He is trying to justify killing an unarmed teenager. If it turns out to be true, according to the report, that Michael Brown did attempt to reach into the car and grab Officer Wilson's gun, does that change the equation at all? Not at all, but again, that's his version. Whatever happened in that car, Michael Brown Jr. was running away from him. The grand jury has been meeting since August 20th to decide whether to indict Officer Wilson for killing Michael Brown, Jim. And the St. Louis County Prosecutor Robert McCullough has said he expects a decision in mid-November. Vlad, thank you.